Hey guys, it's Ellie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm recommending you some amazing stuff for the month of October. If you're new to the channel, hey, I'm the best friend you need and I'm going to recommend you some great books, movies and courses and podcasts so that you can enjoy life and you can also live life and you can also make a living. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. I'll start with the favorite section of most of the people, I guess, who watch this series and that is the movies. I will start with one of the best movies from India that I've watched in the recent times and this is a Malayalam film and this is called Kumbalangi Nights. Kumbalangi Nights is such a delight to watch and the scenic beauty of this movie is amazing. It is set in a fishing village where there are four brothers who have some tensions between them and one of the best things about this book or one of the best moments is where the eldest brother actually breaks down in front of a psychologist and it was such a lovely scene to watch an elderly man just breaking down like that really shattered the kind of image we portray of men in traditional films and brought it closer to reality in some way and another thing i really really love about is the relationships the way the relationships have been shown this movie also stars the amazing Fahad Fasil who you might have seen in see you soon and i absolutely love that movie as well it's available on prime the next movie I'll recommend is called In This Corner of the World. This is for my anime lovers. A lot of you guys ask me, hey Ellie, do you watch anime? Do you love anime? Yes, I do like anime a lot, but I don't really get the time to complete series and everything. So I stick to movies. And In This Corner of the World is an amazing, delightful movie. It is set in World War II and it really highlights the daily lives of the people so wars are fought between countries but the people who suffer are people like you and me but the unique thing about in this corner of the world is that when you watch a film which highlights the world war you probably expect that it will be very sad very gloomy and show the horror of the situation but even in the horror in this movie there's still hope which is something that I really, really enjoyed about this movie. Lastly, I'll definitely ask you to watch The Social Dilemma. This is such an amazing documentary on Netflix and it really tells you why these days people get offended at each and everything. Like try saying something without offending anyone in 2020. Like these days, no matter what I'm posting, there's some one person getting offended. Like what's wrong with you? Um, so definitely, definitely go watch this documentary it is gonna change your life and it's also gonna make it a little bit easier as you understand that everything is running on algorithms next let's move on to the books i want to recommend i finished reading anxious people by frederick backman this book is kind of set in a bank hostage drama but it is so much more than that it really delves into lives of different people and all the worries and anxieties and everything that they go through one of my favorite things about this book was this affair that they described which was so strange to uh, read okay so there was this woman who was married and she meets this man uh, who lives in her apartment i guess as far as i remember uh, and they exchange books and they exchange books on a regular basis and she writes notes he writes notes and they keep doing this for a long time until this man gives her a key to her apartment and he expects her to come to him but she, she never goes, all right? Eventually, after several years, this man actually dies. After his death, she goes with the key to his apartment and then she opens it and uh, she finds all these books that she had read and exchanged all over the years in a bookshelf. It's almost like she was looking at her whole life in that image, uh, in that bookshelf. Then it was such a lovely thing. Then she leaves the apartment and she keeps the key with herself. I think it was a really, really, really beautiful thing to read. Although whenever I'm reading an affair, I'm looking at it from a very moral point of view and I don't really enjoy it so much. But here I would make an exception. Next book I want to recommend is 50 Greatest Short Stories. I love short stories and this is a collection you must have if you love re reading short stories. This book is a collection of various authors and their top short stories and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it if you love reading short stories for that matter or even if you don't honestly. But Hey, who doesn't love reading short stories? In non-fiction, I would recommend Laws of Success by Napoleon Hill. You probably already know about Think and Grow Rich. But if you want to be successful and you want to know the laws that all the successful people and the rich people in the world 
follow definitely definitely read this book i i found it very very interesting and the next book i'll recommend is called the one invisible code by sharad sharma basically whatever hap is happening is somewhere inside your mind and if you feel your mediocre or if you feel that you're average it's all probably always inside your mind some of the things that i have really understood from this book is the kind of mindset i have and i have a explorer plus achiever mindset i'll leave all the mindsets for you on the screen but yeah i'm currently reading this book it's very very enjoyable and i would highly recommend it if you want to buy this book do go to the link in the description and grab it below but if you're reading this book i would highly recommend that you also take a look at the beautiful illustrations i love this look okay i will i actually put up a story on my instagram last day asking how many of you actually would like illustrations in books and over 95% said me yeah i hope that publishers take this seriously and more books have illustrations without any further ado let's get into the courses i'll recommend courses that i'll recommend are number 1 film education from bfi this is hosted on future learn and it is a perfect course to do if you love arts if you love films and if you want to know more some of the very interesting things i actually have started thinking about is what exactly constitutes a film is it a video that is over 2 hours but then if i shoot a video of 2 hours that would be called film is it only art films that count as films or race three is a film too technically right so what exactly is film so this is one of the things that this course starts with and you probably will learn much more than this but i really wanted to talk about this in today's video the next course i'll recommend is called understanding money this course starts in november although you can enroll now and i'm going to be doing this course along with my subscribers on my instagram handle saheli chatterjee here so make sure that you are following me on that handle if you want to join me in this course this is the handle i use for all work related stuff so make sure you follow me there but for personal stuff my id is @theheliblog on instagram now let's move on to the podcasts i have been listening to number 1 i am hooked on to the ground up show by matt diavella he has a very very popular youtube channel about productivity but his show is more than awesome the second podcast i'll recommend is called the lavender lifestyle it's a by lavender once again it's about lifestyle and it's about having a more productive life and if that's something that you resonate with make sure you do listen to this podcast but lastly this is the podcast that i've been listening to while i'm washing my dishes every day and this is the alex podcast now the irony is that alex is a podcast which is for successful people or people want to be successful and want to be rich and like doing it while you know doing my dishes at home is very very grounding as an act but it's super interesting it's super amazing to listen to and there are like 15 topics in each and every uh, podcast that they make and it's amazing um i highly recommend i think you will find alex very very in- interesting as a podcast now this is one of those uh, creative interviews after seeing whom i feel like oh my gosh why haven't i made this now Let's move on to the songs. I'm going to give you a window to my soul uh, now that I'm talking about the songs. I watched this amazing movie called Confessions which is a Japanese thriller kind of a movie and I found the song called Last Flowers by the Radiohead. It's so amazing. It's like the song that I feel will be playing when the world is dying and it's so so gorgeously painfully hauntingly um yeah I'm out of out of adjectives now it's so good but please listen to this song and i'd love to talk to you about it and i think when you find this video on youtube of the song you'll also find my comment in the comment section so yeah enjoy my presence in other portals of youtube the next song i'll recommend is called i don't know you by the marias this is one of those beautiful bands that i've discovered and i hate sharing but I care about you and I'm your best friend so I'll tell you about it this band is so beautiful and their songs are so beautiful they have this vintage classy vibe and this the voice uh, is so beautiful if you listen to the song and you like the song do listen to their version of baby one more time by Britney Spears it is also pretty amazing and that was how I actually found the channel but I love I don't know you so much it really uh, encompasses the feeling of being stuck in a relationship that you do not like very very well lastly if you're looking for good song recommendations this of course george michael with his careless whispers 
who hasn't listened to it and i'm pretty sure you've at least listened to the trumpet music in the beginning in many many scenes that have made indian audiences uncomfortable mostly used to play in those you know sultry sexy scenes that used to play in hindi serials and you must be watching them with your family and suddenly there's that you know sexy music in the background playing and yeah that trumpet so definitely definitely do listen to all these songs that i recommended go for these podcasts go for these courses if you found them interesting and make sure that you also read the books and watch the movies at least one or two of the movies that i recommended i hope that you like october's recommendations i know that i've been a little late in posting but that is because we have puja going on so there's a lot of noise here um i hope that you're enjoying puja and i'll see you guys with another video next week if you like this video make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up all the links to all the books are in the description below so make sure you check it out and i'll be back with another video next week till then